All right, so I'm gonna make this video because I want to work on Killer Instinct 4 or Killer Instinct 2 as some of y'all might call it. I'm gonna call it CAD 4. <laughs> okay, just to get right to it. Um, I'm not just speaking as a fanboy or anything like that, even though I did go to the last tournament. I've been wanting to draw characters and work on Killer Instinct since after the first one, man. Definitely after Killer Instinct 2. Um, it had me drawing characters way back in the day. And um, I've always loved like the characters and the design of it, especially part two. So in short, and just uh, some context, so that's KI, right? And I've been trying to collect all the, um, all the older issues that I can find. I used to have them all back in the day when I was, um, before I had moved. But um, in short, Y'all could literally remake Killer Instinct the way it is, just redo all the character models and add some stuff to it. <laughs> I really think it, the presentation of the game needs to be on par this time. But what I would change is the coloring, I would take it kind of back to Killer Instinct 2. The character models, whoever, no, it's not whoever, his name is uh, Rafiti. I'm butchering his name, I'm pretty sure. He's on Instagram, but it's the... He does 3D, he's the 3D artist for God of War. The characters need to look and have detail like that. They need to have the detail of God of War, but with the coloring of Street Fighter. That's how they should do it. Um, I also will add two combo systems. Now, I don't know the benefits particularly for the second one, but what I was thinking was there need to be two different type of combo systems that you can choose. One from the Super Nintendo and then the regular one. So the Super Nintendo one that you would pick or from Killer Instinct 1, when you perform a combo breaker, it'll give you damage, you'll get the reset, and you'll be able to do an exorcism type move. You'll be able to do a shadow move that is a one hitter quitter, but it hits hard, just like the exorcism in Street Fighter Alpha. And then the other one would be the regular one. But when you keep doing the combo breaker, it'll keep adding on to the combo breaker, and it'll add on to the damage of your base combos. So the first one, it'll give you harder shadow moves to do. The second one's if you get that combos, it increased the power of your base combos. Hence, the fifth ender. Okay. Um, so that's how I would do it. Also, I'll add a team mode in there. Team combo breaker. Okay. Where it doesn't, you don't have to play either one. You can still play single player or you can play with two people. Of course, with two people, you will have um, less health. And the characters will have to be either toned down or some of the characters stripped out because you can't have it going that crazy with the characters, right? But there's just a couple ideas that I would have. I'm, this is I'm, this is the start of the week. I had these ideas for a while. I'm bringing them all back in my head. But I'm going to think about them and make another video by the end of the week. But um, on my website, NE Sakura Games, I have a tab on there, Killing Scene 4 tab. And I'm just going to be going through some of the characters and what I think should change on there and could really trying to come up with the idea for this or the script for this. I redid Kimmel's stage. So if y'all would check that out on there, just a mock up of what I think her next stage should look like. I was always infatuated with her stage for some reason. So I have a Unreal Engine 5, uh, Unreal Engine 4, Unreal Engine 4 made version of that on the tab there. And again, I'm not just speaking as no fanboy. I make, I have a game I'm working on myself called Saber 2 Dreamfall that you can also see on there. But um, here's an image of Jago that I drew. It's not a reversed. This is an older one. But uh, this is a newer version that I drew. Like, was it last year? So you can see, like, I would give him hair. Like, he would, like, know how to control himself now. Like, monk style. That would be an emblem. It would be, like, made of copper. And it kind of sticks off of his, his uh, suit. This would be, like, an iron breastplate. Or samurai like breastplate. All white this time instead of blue, and he, you know, kind of tore it off. And then he had a long hair. And instead of having the tiger cuts in his clothes, I would just put them right there at the bottom. Again, with kind of like samurai like armor. Just some things that I would come up with. And then it's just a little cheese, a little bit of his face. This would be made of cloth, his um his uh face guard. But this would be like gold up in here. So his primary colors would be white and gold. Um, that I would have in there. So. Let's 
kind of offer my work <laughs> because I want to see the next game do good. <laughs> Again, I think the main thing is, is just how it's presented and how it looks. But uh, I want to offer this kind of as like a resume of sorts. Like, I would really love to work on the next uh, KI. But if not, I hope that it goes good. Can't wait to see what y'all come up with or whoever is working on it. Thank you for watching.